Today we're going to be looking at the Smittybilt 2781. It's a portable air compressor, so let's get into it. Air compressors are extremely helpful off-road. They allow you to air down your tires for added trail protection and comfort, and then air back up when you hit the paved road. They also allow you to air up things like air mattresses or inflatable kayaks or stand-up paddle boards. They also allow you to use, in some cases, some air-powered tools. I recommend you add an air compressor to your off-road and overland equipment, even before a light bar. Before I review this air compressor, I know a lot of you have hot sports opinion on air compressors. So tell me in the comments which one you use and why. Or tell me why I'm wrong, or heck, either way, I want to know what you think. Hey, before we get started, please remember to click that subscribe and notification button. It really helps us out, and plus, you'll be reminded anytime we post a video. After all, our videos are clinically proven to increase lifespan, pleasure, and IQ. You can also check out our equipment reviews, overland trips, and build information on txgxoverland.com. Check out the link in the description for this particular Smitty Build air compressor. All right, back to it. I recently purchased a portable air compressor. I wanted something I could move between my Lexus GX and my Jeep Wrangler LJ. Both are used off-road and I need to air up the tires after the trails. My Jeep already has onboard air with a Viar Model 450C with a 5-gallon air tank. It works fine, but it's slower than Christmas with relatives and just about as loud. Fire that thing up at a campsite late at night and just wait for the evil stares from the other campers. Silence! I kill you! So, I went looking for a new air compressor. I made a list of what I wanted in an air compressor. The must-haves included large and fast air volume that's measured in CFM or cubic feet per minute. That's basically how much air it can push into your tire per minute. The higher the number, the faster it will fill up your tire. Good cycle time. That's how long the compressor motor can operate before needing to shut down to cool off. Needed to be relatively quiet. As I mentioned, I wanted it to be portable, and I didn't want it to break the bank. The nice-to-haves included coming with extras like air adapters, air gauges, a long hose, etc. Could power up air tools, or could be used to inflate a mattress or a kayak. After reviewing several compressor options from companies like Bayer, ARB, Smittybilt, and others, I finally landed on the Smittybilt 2781. It checked most of the must-have boxes for me. Highest volume in its group at 5.65 CFM, a high duty cycle at 40 minutes at 40 PSI at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It's decently quiet. It's very portable, although I will say it weighs quite a bit and it's relatively bulky. And at $189, it didn't break the bank. It also checked several of the nice to have boxes, like it comes in a zippered carry bag. It comes with an inline 150 PSI air gauge. It has these beefy clips for attaching to your car battery. It has a screw-on tire valve adapter so you don't have to tax yourself or your muscles by holding it there while you air up your tires. It comes with a 24-foot long hose, which is plenty long enough to reach all your tires while keeping the air compressor in one spot. And it came with adapters for airing up tires. What it doesn't have is that it's not made to power air tools or not particularly great at airing up mattresses, kayaks, or stand-up paddle boards. But that wasn't really important to me. If it's important to you, you should consider another option. So far, I've really been pleased with the performance and experience using the Smitty Built 2781. Here's a clip from my recent trip to Northwest OHV where I used the air compressor to fill up the Lexus GX tires after several hours on the trails and before getting back on the highway to head home. All right, we just got done with the trails and it's time to get back on the highway. So we've got to air up our tires because otherwise they're going to wear really bad on the highway. It's not safe, honestly, to drive on the highway. So we needed to air up our tires. I've got a Smitty Built air compressor. This is the 2781 air compressor. It took about 40 seconds to air my tires up from 20 pounds to 32 pounds. That's pretty quick. Now, you compromise in size. This thing is pretty big, it's really heavy, and it does uh, have to pack in a bag and go in the back of the car, so it's not a permanent mount. Now, you can see here on James's car, let's go over here, he's got an ARB compressor that's actually mounted vertically right here and so it's permanently mounted to his car all he has to do is plug in the hose to this connector right here and away he goes now it's great because it's small and it fits inside of his car and he doesn't have to pack it it's always there when he needs it the downside is it takes a little bit longer james what did it take you to air up a tire about a minute 10 i think uh on this filling up to 35 takes about a minute 10 a minute 30 depending yeah. so it's just what you want to do i chose one that i could take between the GX and my Jeep um, and so I wanted to make sure that it was portable but if you're just driving one rig I would recommend that you uh, either install it or find one that fits your size budget and weight so definitely um, a great option a great piece of equipment to have in your car because 
Like right now, we can go to the entrance and they've got an air pump, but they, you know, typically there's a, a line of about 10 cars. Minimum, yeah, yeah depending on the day. Their air pump and you wait forever. So it's great to have your own. Plus, if you're out on the trail by yourself, it's great to have your own in case you need to put on a new tire or if you have a low tire, you can fill it up right there on the trail. Especially when I would say we're camping and we're doing forest roads and whatnot, there's not always a gas station to go fill up at. Absolutely, yeah. To wrap things up, I have been impressed so far with this air compressor. It fits my needs and has worked well on the trail. The pros are its portability, fast air uptime, and value. There aren't many cons, but it is heavy and bulky. I hope this review has been helpful. Thanks again for watching. Check out our other off-road and overland videos, and until next time, we'll see you on the trails.